liked it a lot. Got to love the field work that I got to do. Um, and wound up uh, having the opportunity to go to Antarctica and study glaciers and climate change, which was a total life-changing moment for me. I It was, first off, just really cool uh, to get to, like, go see the South Pole and stuff. Um, and something that's a li- once-in-a-lifetime opportunity I don't think I'll ever get to do again. Um, but at that point in my life, I thought I really wanted to be a research scientist. So... Um, I was like, all right, this is my foot in the door. I'm going to learn how to, you know, design different research projects, publish them and follow that route. I'd say the first time I was introduced to environmental science was when I was a senior in high school. Uh, We had an environmental science class where we just got to learn about all sorts of different things in the field from like uh, nuclear power meltdowns to um, ecology. So it was just kind of like an overview of the subject and I was fascinated by it. Um, Didn't think I was going to do anything with it. So from high school, I followed the conventional pathway of like going to grad school or undergrad, sorry. And I thought I was going to go into nursing until I realized I I hate needles and I don't like seeing blood that much. I was like, this is not the field for me. And one of my friends suggested I take a geoscience class to see if I liked it. So um, geoscience studying rocks and earth science and fell in love with it. Uh, I really liked it a lot. You know, a big part of that is the field work. You got to go outside, do research. Always thought like gemstones and stuff were cool when I was a kid. So it was kind of related to some of that. And surprisingly, when I got there, I I really liked the research, but I realized I didn't want to be a research scientist because so much of it is, you know, finding answers to questions you have and hoping someone else will find value in them. I've I've told people before, like, all right, I, I recognize like I'm kind of selfish in that I want to see results come from the work that I do. And there's no guarantee when you're doing research and publishing papers that 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 will happen in your lifetime. Um, so I realized that about myself through that experience and from there shifted to trying to figure out what uh, sort of career I could have where I'd be creating more immediate change in the world around me. Um, Out of when I graduated from undergraduate, um, went into environmental education for a little bit, working at a national park and working with students and schools that would come through there. And um, it was at Cuyahoga Valley National Park, which is a beautiful area if you ever get to go out to the Cleveland uh, Cleveland area of Ohio. But I really liked that. It wasn't a forever thing for me, but it did reaffirm that like I like to work with people um, face-to-face and try to create change in the communities that I'm in. I thought I was going to pursue environmental education, went to graduate school to do that, and surprisingly wound up studying birds, which is not what I thought I was going to do. Um, But it was a good avenue into learning more about um, how you can take research and apply it to the communities around you. So it was this nice blending of a couple of the different things I had gotten to do up to that point in my career of, you know, research, academic side of things, which I do still really enjoy, but then blending it with working with communities and looking at environmental education. Um, And through doing that, Got to learn a little bit more about what government does because I interfaced some more with uh, government partners. After that, I wound up there working for the Oregon Department of Environmental Quality um, on their data team looking at stormwater permits, um, which is what eventually segued into the job that I have now. So I was in data for a little bit there and transitioned out of that into permit compliance and environmental program work, which is what I'm doing now. <laughs> 